Hey guys, and welcome back to my F1 2012 career mode today. We have round 17 of season one. It's the Indian Grand Prix at the circuit I can't remember the name of. We've got the Indian Grand Prix today. I usually go really well at this circuit based on our 2011 performance. So I'm expecting the same here today. We narrowly missed out on points at the last race, the Korean Grand Prix, because I forgot to break into a corner, which is actually an important skill to have, breaking into corners, because there are a lot of corners on Formula 1 circuits. I just forgot to do it that time. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you so desire. Let's check out the championship standings. Four races to go. Alonso, he can't win the championship this round. But he could very well eliminate the likes of Mark Webber from the championship fight after this round has concluded. 100 points still on offer, of course. So any driver outside of 75 points of the lead going into round 18 will be eliminated from the championship fight. Only the top five can win it now. Michael Schumacher can no longer win the championship. I know some of you are very sad about that. Me too. Uh, I am still in that fight between uh, me... Ricardo, Hulkenberg, and Jean-Éric Verne, who will not be scoring any more points. So it's about for 15th place in the championship. And that's my aim here uh, this weekend to hopefully climb into that 15th place. Toro Rosso, right now, if we finish 9th, we'll go down a tier, which will make our car even worse. Basically as good as the HRT was last season. So we need to make sure we do not finish in 9th place if we are to stay at Toro Rosso. Of course, we got that offer to renew the contract, and I hope that offer stays on the table for a little while. I'm thinking if we finish ahead of Force India and they go down a tier and then we get that seat because we beat Hulkenberg, that would be worse than the Toro Rosso seat. So we've got to be really careful with who we choose. Race information, it's going to be raining on the Saturday, dry on the Sunday. Qualifying 14th race to 11th place, but I'm really hoping we can score some points. That's an update on the teammate challenge data, which we are losing big time because we missed half of the season racing for a different team, of course. Uh, since we've actually been teammates with Ricardo, I think we've done really well. We've outraced him 6-10, to 10, which is a Stark contrast on how it started when we moved to the Toro Rosso team. Welcome to qualifying here. There is rain on the horizon. But as you can see right now, I don't think it's starting to rain just yet. After my few laps in practice, they've completely reprofiled the track compared to the 2011 game. I assume what happened was in 2011, they made the track before the race actually happened in real life. So they didn't really know what was going to happen uh, with the track layout. Now it's completely different. 97% chance of rain, but it's not raining yet. Maybe we get out there now. Hopefully, we can get an early lap on the board. Okay, here we go then. And as you can see, look, this last corner already so different to what it was on 2011. It feels like I'm on a different circuit. Oh, Senna. Brilliant. Bruno Senna. Bru get out my way. You've come out of the pits, man. I'm on a lap. God damn it. That was the messiest lap ever. It feels like a different circuit. It's so strange. I suddenly do not have much hope. For me today that was a much cleaner lap i'm three seconds off maldonado with that one wow i don't see rain yet so i'm just gonna go out there again <laughs> okay no it's raining now i'm in the drop zone oh come on yeah we're out the session uh this will be 18th place well that's hmm interesting i think i definitely had at least a second and a half maybe two seconds improvement in me uh but we ran out of time with the dry track and it started raining. So we are out in 18th place, unfortunately. Out qualified by my teammate. He goes through. So does Hulkenberg. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Oh, Maldonado's fastest. You know, just the usual stuff. Um, somebody commented on last episode saying, if I don't simulate time, I'll see the AI's true performance. We saw Pastor Maldonado's true performance, but then I simulated time. So Weber and Vettel, all those drivers, not setting their true performance. But I just don't have time to just sit there and watch the session, essentially. Another failed objective. Another failed day. So can race day be any kinder to me? At a circuit I dominated at in F1 2011. It's Sebastian Vettel lining up on pole position. This is crucial for his championship. Hamilton second. Then it's Weber and Sergio Perez once again in the top five. Championship leader Alonso sets on from fifth place ahead of Jensen Button. Yeah, Button won, of course, the previous round of the season. Then we have Schumacher and Deresta, Rosberg and Felipe Maserani at the top 10, followed by Kobayashi, Maldonado 12th, Hulkenberg, my rival 13th, my teammate Ricardo in 14th, ahead of Raikkonen, Senna, Grosjean, and then the usual drivers at the back of the grid, including me in 18th place. I've sort of made 18th place my own. There's no rain on the radar here. A 30-lap race, a one-stop, starting on the options, going to lap 11 for the prime tyres. Let's get into this one. Well, there's only one more thing to do, and that's go racing. The 2012 Indian Grand Prix is next. Okay, let's go. 
we've built into this one. I think as the laps progress, we'll get faster and faster. Five lights are on. And we are underway here for the Indian Grand Prix. Senna getting quite a bogged down start. That's allowed me to pull side by side with the Williams. Is there space to the inside of Grosjean for turn one? There certainly is. So I dive up the inside of the Lotus driver. Ricardo loose on the exit of turn one. And up the hill we go towards the hairpin of turn three. There might be more positions. I see somebody's lost the front wing. I heard it. To the left of me. Oh, Massa almost round. He hit the bollard on the inside of the hairpin. And now the long run down towards the next hairpin. The bollards on this track are about seven feet tall. Raikkonen, not too quick in a straight line, it seems. And the Toro Rosso of me, James Early, looks pretty quick. Space to the outside, potentially. If we can hang it around the outside of the Iceman. All oh, contact with Maldonado. And Grosjean looking to capitalise on my slight misfortune through that move. We're in 14th place at the start of this one. Lap one complete. And I'm not getting dropped by these drivers ahead right now, which is a good sign. And Grosjean, wide through turn one. That's an easy move for me. He was trying to put pressure on his teammate Raikkonen. Now I'm up to 13th. Raikkonen on the exit of turn four. Not too quick either. Both Lotus drivers struggling at the start of this one. Both outside the points. And they've suddenly just started pulling away at rapid speed. Two laps down. 1.6 is the gap. Got to grips with the circuit much better that lap. 1.4 seconds quicker than my lap two. And we're closing the gap. And we have DRS on Raikkonen, who in turn has DRS on Pastor Maldonado. And the Williams looking to defend from the 2007 world champion. You know what? I'll just send him up the inside. There's space there. And he's gone wide. He's bottled it. See you later, Raikkonen. That's 12th place for me. I'm having to concentrate so hard here. Not to make a mistake. It's so easy to spin at this circuit. And somebody's dropped out of the race. We've suddenly gained the position. So we are one step closer to the points. I think somebody's going slow up ahead. Yes. Okay. I'm ready to overtake everybody. It's Alonso. Is Alonso missing a front wing? Oh, we've gone past him. Oh, more drivers slowing. Schumacher. It's Schumacher. Schumacher's the one missing a front wing. And one more driver. Carthur Kayen. No, he's just getting lapped. Oh, my God. I'm on the inside of Maldonado into the final corner. And I've moved past him. And we've got DRS on Nico Rosberg across the line to start lap seven. We potentially dive to the outside of turn one. Yes, we can. Round the outside of the German. The Mercedes driver defending all he can. But there's nothing he can do to stop me. I'm up to sixth. Oh, Rosberg's got some serious speed with DRS there. He's about to fight back down the back straight he goes. We know how quick the Mercedes was in a straight line in 2012. That's how they won in China. And Rosberg's retaking that place. Maldonado's got to run down towards turn one. He's got DRS there. I'll defend the inside. Hold on to that seventh place. My teammate, I think, is in the ninth place right now. So both Toro Rosso's in the points. They're yeah, just starting to struggle slightly now with the tyres. And Maldonado with a run down towards the hairpin. Thinks better off the move. Oh, Ricardo's now got past Mal. Okay, that's brilliant. So seventh and eighth for Toro Rosso. This could be big points. Going to be under pressure here from my teammate Ricardo, who has a damaged front wing. He's looking to the inside. And he does decide to back out of that move. Boxing at the end of this one. The tyres have fallen off big time. I'm over a second slower than my fastest lap in this race. Maldonado has got past Ricardo in the background. But they're both outside of a second behind me. So we box now from 7th place on lap 11. I can never get the pit lane entrance right. But into the pits we go. A few other drivers into the pits as well. I imagine lots of them need to replace their front wings so they'll have slow stops. And they do. 3.9 seconds stop for me. And I am going to rejoin here in ninth place. Perfect. And that's my teammate Ricardo into the pits. So we'll move back up to eighth place. I think there's still a couple drivers yet to stop. Starting lap 14. About to hit a half race distance. I'm feeling quick right now. Honestly, I'm faster than Perez in front. Maybe that's just because of the tyres being so fresh. And finally, Bruno Senna pits in the Williams. He's in the bo box right now. He's just about to rejoin. I should just move ahead of him into seventh place, and I do. And Senna has got past Kimi Räikkönen. Bruno Senna is very quick. Of course, he's uh, got much fresher tyres than a lot of us have. Senna's all over me. He's rapid. He's so quick. As I've just set my personal best lap of the race, I cannot do anything to defend from Senna if he gets a good run. He's so quick. Look at him go. Where do I even defend? The middle of the circuit? He's just gone through. And the Williams up to seventh. 
I've just noticed though he's on the option tyres. He can't get to the end, so he'll have to box again. Oh, Carthy Kane parking it on the apex. That was very scary. Now Grosjean right behind me as well. Is he on a similar strategy to Senna? I'd hope so. Well, there goes Grosjean, and he is on the he's on the primes. Are we on the same strategy? I'm gonna have to defend here as best I can. I say that, I've just let him through. But I've got a great exit out the corner. Dumping the rest of the curves that I have available on this lap. And we're side by side with the Lotus. Can I carry this around the outside or has he got that position nailed down? You can't really go side by side through here. I've run across the grass to maintain the place and eventually I lose out. And Senna has just set the fastest lap of the race. Oh my... Oh my god. Oh dear. Spent so long building up an advantage to the cars behind and it's just gone there with that one mistake. It was fun while it lasted. Here goes Alonso now to relegate me down to 10th. My hope right now is that a lot of these drivers are on a two-stop and not just a one-stop. Otherwise, I'm just going to tumble outside the points like I did in Korea. Pastor Maldonado in the Williams to the outside for turn one. And that's a crucial move for the Williams team in their battle for seventh in the Constructors. Let's see if we can fight back maybe down the back straight. Dumped all the curves. DRS active. Down this back straight we go. We are closing on the Williams. Closing, closing. He thinks about a defensive move. I think about a late move to the inside. And I've made the lunge and made the position as well. Oh, I hear crashing. Yes, somebody's crashed. I don't know who, but definitely somebody's crashed. And here comes Maldonado again. I need to position my car well here. And the Williams driver is going to move past. Unless I can outbreak him into the hairpin of turn four. So once again, maintain 10th place. It's getting tough out here. Ricardo's gone through as well. So he's taking advantage of that one. This driver's in the pits right now. And it's Bruno Senna in the pits. Will we move past him? The Williams driver just exiting the pits now. And we're ahead. Ninth place. I don't know what it is about the pace of the AI at the end of the race. But I've got a train of five, six cars maybe. Right behind me. The what the hell's just happened in the background? I think three drivers have just crashed at the hairpin. Well, that makes my life much easier. Oh, car wants to step away from me there. We've got Michael Schumacher behind me, so... Would I rather have Maldonado or Schumacher attacking me? I'm not sure. Every race is so intense now because I have the pace in the first stint to get into the points. And then I have no pace at the end of the race to stay in the points. How do I defend from Schumacher here if he's got that such overspeed? He goes to the inside. Oh, that's contact. That's my fault, isn't it? People are going to blame me for that. I think he's got a little bit of damage. Not too much, though. Oh, Ricardo out the race. Oh, I think he retired a few laps ago. He was part of the, uh, the contingency re retired at the turn four hairpin. That's not the right word, is it? I just, I just chose a random word and said contingency, thinking it meant like a group of people. We have four laps to go then. Four laps to go. And Schumacher, the German, on the attack again. This time to the outside of turn one. He gets his nose ahead on the braking. And then I send it. Roll off the brakes and hold on to the position. Hamilton in eighth now. Is Hamilton out? Yes, Hamilton's out. We're up to eighth place. Another position. There you go. Schumacher to the outside with DRS. But he's not going to be able to outbreak me, is he? Surely not. The seven-time world champion. Against the might of James Early. Hulkenberg is saying fastest lap after fastest lap. Too bad I think he might be in... He's not last place, actually. I think he's in about 11th place right now. Two laps to go, then. To hold on to this very, very strong result. Uh, Schumacher to the outside. I have to outbreak him somehow. It's turn one. That'll do it. As we start the final lap, it's all or nothing now. To hold on to this eighth place. Oh, he's got such a run. No way he's trying. I didn't give him any space on the outside. And he's still forcing his car out there. As Mark Webber wins the race. Hopefully that's the last bit of defending I need to do. Schumacher's has given up. That little bit of damage. He's just decided to give up. Hulkenberg up to ninth. As we ran the final corner for the final time. That is the best we could have done. The best result we could have got out of that race. It's eighth place. Oh, that's good. That's good. Webber wins. Vettel in second place. Red Bull clearly not favoriting the driver who's closest in the championship uh, and button completes the podium rosberg in fourth ahead of perez grosjean alonso the championship leader only seventh today early hulkenberg and raikkonen complete the point score as michael schumacher misses out in the end he still reaches the end of the race though 
Uh, followed by Diresta. A number of retirements down there. Hamilton, Maldonado, Ricardo, Kobayashi and Felipe Massa all retiring from this race. So Alonso's leading the championship 30 points. There's 75 points still on offer, which means Mark Webber's victory today keeps him within a very outside shot of it. But he could still technically win the championship. He's only 57 points off in fifth place in the championship. Uh, where am I? I am 16th. I'm ahead of Hulkenberg. I'm tied with Hulkenberg. I'm tied with Verne as well. One more point and I'll have that 15th place, which is what I wanted um, going into the second half of the season. Anyway, we are 10 points behind Force India, though, in that battle for 8th. And we are 26 points behind Williams. That might be too big of an ask. It depends what happens in the final three races. The next race will be the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We've got three races to go. Abu Dhabi, uh, then USA, the first race at the Circuit of the Americas, and then the finale at Brazil. There's still lots to play for in this championship. Potentially still more contract offers to come in from other teams. We've, we've got that re renewal offer, which is really important. That Toro Rosso renewal offer. If we do beat Force India in the championship, I think we'll have to take that offer unless we get like a, I don't know, a contract from Lotus, for example, which I don't think is going to happen. But you never know. If I really perform well in the final three races, who knows what's possible? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.